Hello and welcome back to the Peak District. So I've started today's walk from the Goit Valley, part of the car just next to Weirwood Reservoir. And I'm currently heading up towards Axe Edge Moor, where I'm gonna bag Axe Edge Trig Point. And from there, we're gonna head towards Three Shires Head, which is a uh, beautiful little spot in the Peak District. And as you can see, it's a gorgeous day in the Peak District today. And the sun's shining, it's not too windy. However, I think on uh, Axe Edge Moor, might be a little bit of a different story, but uh, it's not going to be too bad. And if you've been uh, keeping up with the channel this past month or two, you'll have noticed that I've done quite a lot of walks around the Goit Valley area. And that's simply because I moved back to Whaley Bridge uh, around two months ago now. And I've really missed this area. So uh, I'm trying to get all the walks in that I can around here whilst trying to bag as many trick points as I can as I'm uh, slowly working my way through the uh, 88 trig points in the Peak District. And sadly, I think this is the last one, which is uh, close to the house. I think I've bagged pretty much all of them now in this area. But I'm really looking forward to getting out deeper into the Peak District and into some areas in the southern part of the peaks that I haven't actually been to very often. And that's the beauty of this challenge. It's gonna take me all over the Peak District and I'm gonna see places and do walks that I wouldn't typically uh, do. And I'm also trying to catch the last of the autumn colours. As you can see, the trees are looking a bit bare today, which is sad because you know what that means. It means we've got the solid five or six months of freezing cold weather. So we're in for the long haul winter. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get some snow. So as you can see to my left, the River Goit is there and we're currently heading upstream and we're gonna head up for about a kilometre now, walking on this track. And then uh, we'll take a left, cross the river and head up towards Axe Edge. And Axe Edge is definitely on my list for a wild camping spot. I'm gonna check that out today, give it a bit of a recce. But anyway, we'll crack on and I'll catch up with you at the trig point at Axe Edge. favourite views from up here is looking over towards Chrome Hill. You can see it poking up there. It's a really nice little angle of it. We've got Buxton down to my left here, Goit Valley over to the right, shining tour over in the distance. I could have sat up there for hours, it was absolutely stunning. And like I was saying earlier about potentially wild camping up here, it is at the top of my list now because I could imagine waking up there to a sunrise. It would be absolutely stunning. And looking over there towards Chrome Hill, that just looks awesome. I love the way it's kind of just poking out of the uh, landscape. It's such a uh, unique hill in the Peak District. And just behind that is Park House Hill, which uh, again is equally unique and stunning. And as I predicted, it's a lot windier up here. There wasn't even a breath of wind down in the, in the Goit Valley. It's actually surprisingly quite cold. It was really mild when I first started. Um, but it's that wind chill, I guess. We're gonna head down towards Three Shires Head now. 
so hopefully get out of this wind for a little bit and one thing i will say is if you're looking at an os map to uh, plan a route you won't um, actually see any footpaths uh, marked on the map going up to it but if you started from the goit valley like i did once you cross over the cat and fiddle road you'll head about 500 meters up onto axe edge moor and you'll come to a fence line which is actually marked on the map and you'll see a path there that goes straight up to the trick point yeah it's a popular route so you, you won't miss it but yeah heading down to uh, three shires head now and i'll catch up with you there Just leaving Three Shires Head now, a beautiful part of the Peak District, really picturesque and I felt very lucky because I only saw one or two people and if you come here in the summer it's a very different story. There can be uh, a lot of people there because people like to go swimming in the little pool uh, just beneath the bridge. But it's a really cool spot and that pretty much marks the halfway point for this walk. I think I might have underestimated how long this walk actually is. I thought it was going to be around 10 miles and when we stopped at Three Shires Head, I was on seven and a half miles. So I think we're looking at more nearer to 13, 14 miles, which is absolutely fine. Um, I think it's just where I parked the car. I actually parked it in a car park that I hadn't planned on. So I uh, wasn't really thinking. So I've had it on two or three miles maybe, but I'm not complaining. It just means a couple more miles in uh, the beautiful Peak District. head sits in it's basically just a gradual climb all the way up to the cat and fiddle and as you can see the weather's uh, gone a bit grayer which is a shame because it was really nice and sunny earlier but uh, still been able to see the lovely views we're going to carry on now towards shining tall but we're not going to go right to the top you can see here we're going to go down to Wherewood. and where i am now you could have the option if you were feeling uh, fit and full of energy still head up towards Shining Tor and back to that trick point. We're not too far away from the end now. I think we've got about, I think we've roughly got about three miles left. And to be honest with you, this part of the walk is really nice now. We drop down into the Goit Valley and we get to go through a really nice little woodland and then we'll rejoin the Goit Valley Road, um, which will take us back to the car park. And by then I'll definitely be ready for a nice sit down and a beer this evening.
So we're just a few hundred meters away from the car park now. I was going to drop down a bit earlier, but I ended up just walking straight along the ridge down to the car park. Um, but as you'll have saw, you get fabulous views of Irwood Reservoir and uh, the woodland and the moors. So uh, yeah, really nice little uh, end to the route. So overall, I've been really happy with the route I chose today. I highly recommend the walk. Just looked at my watch and uh, it was just over 12 miles in the end. So when I said we're at halfway at Three Shires, at Three Shires Head, we we're actually probably just a bit over. So yeah, it's a nice distance, not too long and not too short. Let me know in the comments if you've uh, walked around here before and what you think of it. Um, for me, it's got to be one of my favourite places in the Peak District. I might be a bit biased there because this is where I kind of grew up. And as you'll have noticed, it's kind of been a bit of a mini-series on my channel recently. Um, because moving back to Whaley Bridge, I've been able to get out and walk a lot more in this area. So I've really thoroughly explored the area, which I've absolutely loved. I've been to some places which I've never even been to before. And I think it's really shown how nice uh, this area is, like we did Spons Hill the other day. We've done the Goit Valley thoroughly. We've done Shining Tor. We've done Wingather Rocks. We've done Axe Edge. We've done Burbage Edge. So yeah, lots of really, really uh, nice places. And Three Shires Head, obviously, today. I mean, that was one of the nicest, to be honest. So yeah, I highly recommend this area if you're looking for a walk to do. And the great thing is there's so many short walks to do as well if you're not up for a big walk. I mean, the car park of Parkson, it's a 10, 15 minute walk to Airwood Hall, which is a really cool spot as well. But yeah, I think we'll end the video there. Um, I'm literally about 100 meters away from the car. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. And if you've enjoyed the video, why not leave a like or subscribe to the channel? Any likes, any subscribes really help support the channel. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you managed to get out and explore uh, this week or this weekend whenever you're watching this video and i'll see you in the next one cheers